welcome back. My name is Aaron Craig with Beyond Us Games, and I'm going to be finishing up the last part in the Tiled series, because all we're going to do is look at how to export from Tiled and import into Game Maker, which is what I am good at doing. So, when you come up to Tiled, you can click on File, and you can export a couple different ways. When you go to Export As, it gives you different save types, but they're not actual uh, photo types, which is what we are going to want to work with inside of Game Maker. These are useful in other ways, which is what we're not going to be talking about today. So you're going to want to come up to File and Save As Image, and you can save and you can browse to where you want. I've already saved it as a map fully edited or fully created and a map without the objects like the trees and the stumps that I'm actually going to add in Game Maker so that I can do more unique things with them like making the tops of the trees transparent and adding in better collisions with actual objects inside of Game Maker. So once you've chosen where to save it, uh, the only thing I would recommend doing is just only include visible layers. These other things uh, they might be under special circumstances, but then you can just save it, and then you'll have your map. And if you want, you can just you know come up here and you can remove things, and then save as image again. And because you're only saving what's visible, only that is going to be exported. So then we go into Game Maker, and inside of your project, you're going to want to go into Backgrounds, and you're going to create a background. And now this part's actually really simple. So you're just going to load a background, and we want this one. So we don't want to choose any of these tick marks over here because you could remove the background, but the background is actually all the grass, which we want. So we're going to open that up, and that gives us our, our background that we want to use. We're going to name it BG Level 1 for background so we know. And then inside of a room, once you create it, uh, we'll call it Room Level 1, and we can go into Backgrounds. So here, right here, we can choose which background we want to use. So right now there's no background, but we can choose background level one. Now, if you look over here, you'll see that this is actually uh, tiling it. This is like, uh, it is duplicating it horizontally. And that's because the room size is actually greater than the background. So we can turn off tile horizontal and tile vertical and then you just got the background. Well, you probably don't want that. So in settings, come up here, change that to 800 by 800. And then you've got your room. And if you didn't know how big the map is, you can see right here, if you open up your background, it actually says width 800 and height 800. So then if we click on run, it's going to load that up. And as long as that room is the first room of the ones you've made, you will have your level inside of Game Maker. And then from there, obviously, you can do whatever you want. You can add in objects, put in your players, and you can start making it so you can move around and interact with it. So that's it, guys. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you want to see anything more about Tiled, please do leave a comment, ask some questions. You can connect with us on Twitter, and we will take any suggestions for videos, because there's so much more that you can do in level creation, editing, and design than what we've just covered here. This is just the basics. But I hope it has been helpful. We've had a great time making this series. And until next time, have fun making great games, and I'll talk to you later. Mm -hmm.